welcome to the Building EVs Capacity Series. Uh, in this video, I'm going to talk about Joomla. Um, Joomla is a fantastic content management system, or CMS, and in our business at Balance Internet, we build most of our small business websites for clients in Joomla. So, as a starting point, Joomla is an open source content management system. Other alternatives you might want to look at might be Drupal, or WordPress, or even Magento if you're going down the e-commerce line. But Joomla is something, Typo3 is another one. Um, but Joomla is the one that we prefer for, for these reasons. When you're choosing a CMS, you can get a software as a service licensed content management system or CMS. You can get use a, a CMS that's been developed by a local web designer um, in Australia, for instance, where they've developed something over time and it's a mature CMS that they've built themselves. Or you can go down the path of using an open source CMS like Joomla or, or Drupal. Um, we like open source because you own it, you're in control of your own destiny, and it's a shared community of knowledge. So look, and low cost, basically Joomla as a piece of software is free. You only really pay for the developer or the web design company to do the development and integration and hosting part of it. So the actual software itself is a shared piece of community software, which means it's free. So it's low cost and open source. The second thing is, it's very scalable and it has a large number of extensions. In any open source environment, and there's many of them, and, um, or framework, you gotta look at how many extensions there are for that framework. And with Joomla, there are literally thousands. If you go to the website on the screen now, um, and on Joomla.org and have a look at the extensions, you'll see just how many extensions there are. There's literally thousands. The, the, some of them good, some of them bad, some of them fantastic. Um, and what that allows you to do is just plug those that functionality into your site as your business grows. So Joomla has got lots and lots of great scalable extensions. Third, it's got an easy to use interface. The interface for editing and adding content and administering content on your site is critical. It needs to be easy. You need to be able to get a an administrative person within your business that's really quite non-technical to be able to find their way around the interface and use it. Now if you go to some of our other videos in the Building eBiz series, so www.e-biz.com.au, the URL on the screen, if you go to that site, there are some other videos around Joomla where we train you and you'll be able to have a look at that interface, so I'd suggest you do that. Fourth is resources. In Australia, there are a lot of people who understand Joomla. So if you go down the path of engaging a business like ours or another business to do your Joomla build, if you're not happy with that business, there are other businesses out there. And that's an important thing. You're not locked in to one piece of technology. You can go and get a Joomla website, build it, own it yourself, have the keys to the car yourself, and, and then use different people to build components and pieces for you. So, you're not locked into one provider or one vendor. In Melbourne, which is where our business is based, there's a Joomla user group. There's Joomla user groups all around Australia. There's lots of people using Joomla, either businesses or web design firms. There's lots of information out there, forums, blogs, communications. So if you've got a problem or you don't understand something, there's always someone out there that you can go to, either to get training or to solve the problem. And the last point which I really like is that it's easy to interface with other systems. Quite often you want to connect your website to a finance system or a point of sale system or a payment gateway system. Um, Joomla by its open source and open architecture allows you to connect in other systems relatively easy without too much trouble. If you look at the extensions and um, plugins section on Joomla again as well you can see how lots of those can also connect you to other systems as well. Hope you've enjoyed this video. If you want to see some other videos in this series, go to www.e-biz.com.au. Thanks again. Cheers.